Happy Saturday to those of you that are tuned in. I am Cynthia Haynes Asmon, the advocate for the walking pedestrians on Ermine Road, Augusta Road, Delry Road, and now Otto Xavier Asmon, the third Memorial Road. Let me show you that. Let me show you that. Let's see, get a picture of that on the behalf of my deceased son. That's pretty wide, so. Okay, I believe you were able to see that. But today um, marks two years that my deceased son was tragically hit and killed on Ermine and Augusta Road. And I want to take this moment to remember my baby boy. I have some items here on my table that I had made on his behalf. Some shirts. Looking at a picture of him. And he was probably about 10 years old right there. Um, on this picture right here with his big sister, Shivana. Uh, he wasn't probably one yet or he was approaching one. Then I have another picture when he was in high school, I think probably ninth grade right there. Uh, and this picture right here, I really love it. This one, I love all of them because he was my baby. He was my baby. So this picture right here, I think he was about six months old. Had another shirt made of him too, right here. Um, called Pump Those Brakes. What does the speed limit say? But I just want to uh, be an encouragement also to parents, uh, moms, dads, aunties, uncles, grandparents that have lost uh, children, adult children, infants, um, little children, tragically, is something that um, we can never forget. Um, one thing I learned from my pastor, Bishop Bailey, when it comes to grieving, he encourages us not to stay stuck. Um, staying stuck, <laughs> grieving can, can really drive you out of your wits, drive you out of your mind. Um, not only drive you out of your mind, but to send you to an early grave. And I'm thanking God for the courage to be able to come on and just talk a little bit um, is truly uh, the strength that God has given me because it's only two years today that my baby boy, which we affectionately called uh, Zay Zay, but Otto Xavier Asmon III that was tragically hit and killed um, at 26 years old. He would have been now, he's, two birthdays have pa passed um, in which he would be like 28 years old now. And uh, he left behind a now nine-year-old son, um, Otto Adriel Asmon IV. Um, I'm just grateful that um, for the past, what, 26 years that God have or had entrusted him into our care, uh, me and my husband Otto's care, um, we did the very best that we could, um, raising him in the fear and the admonition of God. Um, I can't, uh, for one second, um, pretend that my boy never existed. I never want to feel like he never existed. So there are different things that I am doing, um, working with the government, as God said I would, uh, several years before he died or was tragically killed, um, uh, God has spoke through this particular prophet out of North Carolina. And the thing about it is I had um, my baby boy with me in a service um, that I went to support at his godmother's church and my daughter and received that prophecy, did not understand uh, now I do, but at that particular time, I didn't understand how this man of God had told me that I would be working with the government and 
just different things, you know, like that being um, funded and different, you know, uh, things. And uh, now it is coming to full fruition, um, which lets me know that we don't understand uh, God. We don't understand God's mind, um, his knowledge, his wisdom. I uh, believe Isaiah say it, that he is untraceable. We cannot. So the best thing that we can do, even when we do not understand our life, um, when it takes a turn, especially when death is involved, um, sudden death is involved. That is, um, we just have to learn to trust God. I want to encourage all of the grieving parents out there, grandparents, aunties, uncles, that God will put no more on us than we can bear. And I truly pray for the strength. I pray for the um, tenacity, the ability um, to go to to keep going. You can't stop here because as long as there's life, there's hope. As long as there's hope, there's opportunity. And we have to keep going because we're not here for nothing. We're here to serve a purpose. Um, God has placed each and every one of us here um, for a good purpose. And I am going to, at 59 years old now, I am going to live my life uh, to its fullest. I am going to do everything uh, possible um, that God has assigned to me to get it done. Be encouraged out there. I thank God for giving me the courage now to be able to even talk about my deceased son. Um, but it's all God. Uh, it's really all God. Uh, without him, I couldn't do any of this. Be encouraged. God bless.